We're in the Garden State, New Jersey, where the city of East Orange claims that violent crime and gang activity have dropped dramatically, thanks in part to a camera and sensor system that tracks and actually predicts crime. Science fiction, you say? Not quite, according to some. I'm Terry Shepard, and this is Digital Justice. This is Newark, New Jersey, neighbor to East Orange and one of the U.S. homes to Digisensory Technologies, the maker of the Avista Smart Sensor System, a system that tracks criminal movements and alerts the police right as crimes are being committed, or sometimes even before. Tariq Hamadou is Digisensory's founder and CEO. Well, I had the idea inspired from the biological of the human eye, the relation between the retina and the cortex, we got inspired to build the Morpheus processor, which is a, a chip that like really mimic the cortex. Over the last uh, couple of years, I spent a lot of time in police patrol cars in order to understand what they need. Exactly. We were more interested about capturing specific patterns that lead to a crime so we can uh, prevent that crime. So that was the main idea. But don't just take Tariq's word for it. The city of East Orange is 100% behind the system especially the chief of police and the mayor. It basically changed the police department from a reactive police department to a more proactive police department. We like to prevent crimes from happening as opposed to right. investigating them after they happen. From this example, from 2004 uh, to 2010, we have about a 70% reduction in our violent crime and crime overall, and that's unprecedented. We can talk about statistics all along, but if you had your car stolen last night, all those statistics mean don't, nothing. don't mean anything. And they'll tell you as you go around and, and speak to the officers, people know when they come to East Orange, they better behave themselves. All right, so let's talk specifically about, about the technology, uh, the components of it, and, and, and how it actually kind of works. Mainly, like, you know, the smart sensors that, like, you know, we mimic, like, you know, the, the human eye. We have so a, you have a, cameras for that. that a is, smart, kind of cameras visual, those? smart imaging sensor that has a processor that is able to deliver 60 billion instructions per second. So for the average person walking down the street, what, what does this mean? What happens in like, I don't know, like a drug transfer, like, like a drive, like a buy? We start like looking for specific patterns. For example, for a, a drug exchange is the frequency of, of, of interaction. For example, like, you know, Someone learned, coming up and doing this kind of stuff. Exactly what yeah. we learned, the dealer will never, never have like, you know, first like, you know, the drugs in his, his pocket. He will get the money, go back and come back. So those patterns, we learned about those patterns. That's amazing. And we start like, you know, looking, program the sensors to trigger an alert once those patterns are uh, seen in a, in a and recognized, field of view yeah. and recognized. What we like to do here at East Orange PD is really know exactly what's going on. We know exactly where the crime is happening, when it's happening, and what type of crime is happening. What am I looking at here right now? We've got a lot going on here, and one of our systems that uh, we like to highlight is our crime dashboard. When you use the word integration, our crime dashboard is also integrated with our pattern finder software. Okay. We have a map of our city, so today we've only had Excuse one me, crime. We have a smart sensor activation. It's going to be Morton and William, it's a possible robbery in progress. These alerts can happen at a moment's notice, putting officers on the scene in a matter of seconds. What has happened is the officer here has got a smart sensor uh, activation or alert. And picked up a pattern of crime, right? Correct. The ABAD system actually alerts the two closest unit in proximity to the event location. We pulled the Main Street camera and you see the officers were actually making the uh, apprehension. They got it right there. Unbelievable. That was done probably from the time of alert to, to where your officer mm -hmm. saw that, called it in. That was, I mean, that was probably like a minute. Or less, that's the I whole purpose. I think it purpose. might have even been less. Those that's guys the, were on top of that. Oh. That's the whole purpose of it. And, and the most important thing is that the, the bad guy realized that too. And hopefully he'll tell everyone, all the other bad guys. <laughs> and the perception is, if you commit a crime in East Orange, if you decide to, and you do, you're going to get caught. You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna pay for that. It almost seems like something out of a, out of a sci-fi movie, quite frankly. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm someone I love movies, and one of the things, like I remember, like you know, a long time ago, I saw like Minority Report, and I was inspired, like you know, by the movie. Of course, we are not like you know, we're not doing that type of things, but, but it's kind of going that way. When when you are, you can predict that there is a narcotic exchange in the street based on specific pattern you're capturing. You send uh, an alert, you know, 
two seconds, three seconds before like, you know, the event, it's, it's, it's a huge thing. And the enthusiasm doesn't just come from the top. The men and women actually patrolling the streets of East Orange also see DigiSensory's technology as a key crime-fighting ally. How is the, the patrol force taken to the use of this stuff? It's, a, it's an easy sell, and, and, and they understand it quite well. Have you had any issues with like uh, legal issues, with, with, with litigation or something, as far as like privacy issues, that kind of stuff coming to you at all? No, no it hasn't. Uh, and in, in a lot of cases, they're very successful during the prosecution. Not only do you have real crime reduction, but the citizens feel safe. Yes, yeah, so if we have the average citizen on camera, it's because we want to make sure that they remain safe. We're That's not safe. trying to look at what color lipstick someone's putting on. <laughs> yeah. But not all share the same views as the East Orange Police Department. There's a lot of technology ACLU would be fine with if the checks and balances were in place. So what's the criteria by which they choose the corner? What's the uh, oversight um, that they have to make sure it's being used properly? Is someone going to be harassed and abused just because they were standing in place too long or right. they suddenly moved too quickly? If it becomes uh, its own justification, hey, the DigiSensory told me something was bad, so that's why we had to use mace to, to put him down, that becomes a problem. And we do see um, the use of technologies making law enforcement lazier in a sense, so we need to we need to monitor that. Despite reservations from some, Tariq sees continued growth for these smart sensors. It's like a bottle of wine; it gets like you know better right. when it ages. Yeah, so because sure. The, the system learns more you deploy the system, and also there is an interaction between the operator and the system. If there is like you know a false alert and the operator dismiss them, the system will recognize that. No matter what side you're on, this technology is definitely creating a stir. Police and officials in East Orange know it's making a difference in protecting their city, and to them, that's all that matters. I'm Terry Shepard, and this has been Digital Justice.